Hello, everybody. My name is Joan Winters, and I am the principal second violinist with the Eastern Connecticut Symphony. It's a pleasure to be with you, and today I'm going to take you on a musical journey. We're going to explore and listen to all great classics. Hopefully, when you hear them, it will ring a bell. I've heard that before. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I started playing violin when I was in the fourth grade. I think I was about eight years old. Uh, my parents really encouraged music in the home. We also played piano as well as a, a, a basis for getting ahead in music. So I excelled in music in elementary school and in middle school and went on to college, enjoyed lots of playing opportunities, teaching, and here I am today continuing with all those things that bring me a lot of joy and a lot of pleasure. Enough about me, let's get on to our journey. We're gonna start in Europe. We're gonna cover the Baroque period. We're gonna go into some classical. We're gonna go into some popular TV themes, movies, some Disney things, fiddle tunes. So we're gonna get a little bit of everybody, kind of like a little buffet. You can pick and choose your best for today. We're gonna to start with two icons of the Baroque period, Handel and Bach. Back then, dances were very, very popular whether it was a minuet, a bore, a jig, a courant, an alamand, all of those were very, very popular back then. I'm gonna play for you a minuet written by Bach. You'll notice that the melody repeats itself quite a few times. Preludium is next, written by George Friedrich Handel. The notes are a little bit faster, and you'll enjoy that. We're now going to move on to composers, excuse me, from the classical era. The three that we're going to, two that we're going to discover today, the first one is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. So this particular piece is called Eine kleine Nachmusik. And if you're familiar with your German, it means a little night music. While I play Eine kleine Nachtmusik, you're going to find that my bow is going to do a little dancing. We call it spiccato. The bow is going to bounce off the string because it's made to bounce the way it is. Watch. 
See how that bounces uncontrollably? Well, it's my job as the performer to control that bounce and put it under my fingers. So please enjoy a little night music. Our second composer we're going to study is Beethoven. And as you all know, Beethoven was one of the pillars of the classical period. He wrote over 600 compositions. And this particular one is called Ode to Joy. It is a simple tune that's often played by many different instruments. Um, it's very peaceful. Uh, the term that I would use to describe how I'm going to play it is legato, smooth and connected. And it just puts you in a great mood when you listen to it. So please enjoy Ode to Joy. to the classical period, we're on to the Romantic. This Romantic composer, Jacques Offenbach, French, he wrote an opera, was called Orpheus in the Underworld, and this was a very, very famous uh, part of that. This is called the Can-Can. Again, I'm gonna play spiccato, and I'm also gonna put some heavy-duty accents in, and I'll show you where those are. now and we're going to come to America. As you know our American music we have several kind of genres whether it be popular music, easy listening, rock and roll, TV, movie themes, there's lots of things out there easy listening. I decided that I'm going to start this section with fiddle tunes. Now fiddle tunes are great for violence. We love them because they are rhythmic country dances without any words. We have a lot of fun. Tempos are usually fast, and it gives a little workout for the left and the right hand. I'm gonna play three back to back. The first one is called Chicken Reel. And when I play some of the Chicken Reel, it's gonna have something called glissando in it. So you'll be listening. 
listening for that. The second piece is called The Red-Haired Boy. And the last one, one of my favorites, it is an old American fiddle tune and it's called The Devil's Dream. So please enjoy these three. If I said John Williams, what comes to mind? You're probably gonna say, oh my gosh, I know that name. He has written so many fantastic, wonderful musical scores for lots of great movies. If you thought of Jaws, E.T., Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, those are all correct. Today, I'm gonna to play for you one of his most famous, I know you all have heard before, this is Star Wars. <laughs> move on to some Walt Disney songs. If I said Anna, Olaf, Elsa, what comes to mind? I think it's a favorite of yours and mine as well. This is from Frozen. Let it go. Thank you. 
shark. musical journey. I'm going to end with A Lullaby by Brahms. It's been a pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed all our tunes. I hope to see you in the fall when we return with the Eastern Connecticut Symphony. <laughs>